Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome back to my video Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everybody, I'm Yeni Anggraini from 3A class majoring in English Department 2020 Alright, I made this video to complete my assignment in post intermediate listening and speaking class with the honorable lecturer, Sir Dr. Andus Mashur, Master of Education. Alright, in this video, we are going to talk about beautiful and interesting places to be used as vacation spots. If you want to go holiday, I highly recommend it to visit these places with your family. Here we use the Google Earth tool to survey the location and these are places that I really want to visit but actually the first place that I really want to visit is the city of Mecca and Madinah because there are the first destination for, for Muslims to perform the pray haji and we can visit the tomb of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Alright, that's just an opening from me Let's get start my presentation. There are some places that are very beautiful and interesting to visit. Alright friends, let's we start. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. So, the first one is Hagia Sophia. Let's see everyone. This Hagia Sophia located in Istanbul, Turkey. Okay. Let's we zoom. This is Hagia Sophia in line yellow. Okay. It is a building that full of the history of Islam. That we Take a place. Okay. Hagia Sophia has been a silent witness to the history of the transition of the regime that ruled Constantinople, now called Istanbul, starting from the pagan or to the Catholic Byzantine Empire, the Ottoman Empire. To the modern era of Turkey. Hagia Sophia has changed functions in several times. The first, in the Byzantine Empire, Constantius II then made this building an Orthodox Church in 360. And second, in the era of the Ottoman Empire, in 14. 53 era the Byzantine Empire ended because it was conquered by Sultan Mehmed II of the Ottoman Empire. After Sultan Mehmed II conquered Constantinople, the status of Hagia Sophia was converted into a mosque. During this time, there were many changes in terms of decoration. Many calligraphy carvings were found on the walls of the Hagia Sophia. And the third is in the era of Kemal Ataturk's region. After the dissolution of the Ottoman Empire and Turkey becoming a republic, Hagia Sophia again switched functions. The founder and first president of the Republic of Turkey, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, turned the Hagia Sophia into a museum. 
This is location around of the Hagia Sophia. Let me check indoor of Hagia Sophia. Let's see everyone. Let me see indoor of Hagia Sophia. Mashallah, this is a very beautiful place. So, the ornament is very luxurious. It is a beautiful calligraphy. So amazing. You can see that. Okay, guys. Let we next and the four after going through a long process and Hagia Sophia status as a museum was revoked on July 2020 during the region of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan Hagia Sophia was changed to a mosque but this change has become a lot of controversial okay let me see again in outdoor around Hagia Sophia. So many people visit there to look a beautiful ornament of Hagia Sophia. Okay guys, let's move on to the next vacation spots. The second one is Raja Ampat, located in West Papua. So let we zoom this. Okay, we zoom again. Oops, I'm sorry. Let me see again Raja Ampat Regency located in West Papua. So, look at this, friends. Raja Ampat is the place that have the scenery is so beautiful if you want to go holiday it's very recommended to visit Raja Ampat because this a very beautiful places you can enjoy the scenery that very beautiful here Raja Ampat is an archipelago consisting of many coral islands and is widely distributed throughout its territory. The territorial waters are the main attraction of Raja Ampat. Considering that the waters of Raja Ampat are one of the 10 best waters in the world. So it's so amazing, right? This is based on various studies studies on the richness of flora and fauna and the preservation of the marine nature of Raja Ampat. Let's move on to the next vacation spots. The last places is Parangtritis Beach located in Yogyakarta. So let's see this, we zoom, alright, It 
if you are like a sunset, so Parantritis Beach is the perfect place to watch the beautiful sunset. Look at this, friends. There are many people visit there. They spend holiday time to enjoy the beautiful scenery of Parantritis Beach. In addition to the beauty provided by Parantritis Beach, it turns out that there is a terrible story of this beach. Parantritis Beach is very closely related to the myth of Ratu Kidul. Many Japanese believe that Parantritis Beach is the gate of Ratu Kidul's magical kingdom, which visitors are forbidden to swim there. Okay, let me zoom then. Let me check the other part of Parantritis Beach. This is a popular spot that the other people often take pictures. Alright guys, I think that's all from my presentation. Hopefully, we can visit some places that I have presented before. I'm sorry if there's mistake from me. And I just want to say thank you so much for you all that have watching my video. So, see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.